Ralph comes out. And Drew immediately starts to look sad. Ralph had a sober look on his face. He was dressed to the nine. Seems like he was coming out to get some type of empathy or some type of sympathy. And Drew immediately handed him a peach. You no, know, since she feels like he wants to be one of them. Or else why would he come to the reunion? Knowing that they are going through a divorce. Trying to get empathy and sympathy. Talking about he felt like they should talk it out there at the reunion. If you couldn't talk it out in counseling, what makes you think you got to talk it out at the reunion? But before we talk about what went down with Ralph and Drew, let's talk about what went down with the other ladies before the interaction between Ralph and Drew. It's your girl Liz keeping up with the biz of what went down on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So on this episode, once again, we see that back and forth once again between Drew Sedora and Courtney. Drew is highly upset about what she had said about her son, but mainly about Drew Sedora, accusing her of trying to get Ralph to adopt her son so that Ralph could pay for her son while she went off with her lesbian lover. Now, isn't that just crazy? But while people were thinking that she didn't know that the camera caught her or that the microphone caught her while she was saying this, Courtney is saying that she knew that the microphone was on because she said it more than once. So people are shocked that she would say this. And the other castmates are saying that the children, they are off limits. So Andy wanted to know if Courtney thought that this was true. And Courtney said she thought that it was true. That Drew is cheating on Ralph with a female lover. Allegedly tied from the NBA. So Andy asked Milo and Cherie, what did they know about this? What have they heard? You know Milo knows what be going on but Marlo chose to say nothing Cherie was acting like she didn't know nothing but then she whipped out some text messages so she had some more stuff in that envelope so she had that she knew that shaded candy and now she have all of the text messages between Drusadora and Ty so Andy said that the text messages was incriminating between Ty and Drusadora but Kenya said you know this is not incriminating so it was like Candy and Kenya were saying that they have text messages like this between the two of them so it was really not incriminating but it's Exactly what was in those text messages? Oh, we may find out one day. But today, we don't know. So anyway, they went to break and everybody was backstage. Courtney all up in Ralph's room. So she's always up under Ralph. She and Ralph was kiki and about where they went down. And then Drew's sister stepped into the room. She said, don't you shut that door on me. Courtney admitted that she had called her a B word. So she's calling Drew's sister the B word. Drew's sister, her name is Allison. She said, oh, but you don't use the B word though. And Courtney said she do now. So Courtney is getting bold. She's trying to go after that peach. She done flipped the script. She's not trying to play the cousin, innocent cousin anymore. Well, she is still trying to say that she's a cousin. A lot of people do believe that she's a side chick. But it was about to go down. They had to separate them. They had to shut the door. The girl had to get in between them. And Allison had to leave the room. Before something went down, next let's talk about what is going on with Sanya. So unfortunately, she did have a miscarriage. And she was saying how the ladies reached out to her, but she was upset because Kenya did not reach out to her. This according to Sanya. But Kenya said she did reach out to her. Her. But Sanya is insistent that Kenya did not reach out to her after she had that dramatic miscarriage. You know, she said that Candy called her. She said that Sheree and Marlo sent her flowers, but she had none from Kenya. But Kenya said she did reach out. So unfortunately, Sanya had a miscarriage, but she said a month later she wound up getting pregnant again. So now she is four months along. So this is good news for Sanya. This is something that her husband really wanted. Also, the question was brought up how Sanya got Kenya to raise money for charity for her for her charity event. But then when she got around some of the other ladies, she was dragging Kenya, according to one person that had a question, and shading her relationship. So I guess they said that she was dragging Kenya when she was talking to Marlo and was saying how Kenya made it such a big deal when Martel was in her DM. No, she got into it with Martel on the show. But it was a whole different story when she found out that her man was in Marlo's DM. So apparently this happened way before uh, he got together with Kenya. So it seems like Sanya feels that it's a double standard with Kenya. So Kenya said that was the reason that she unfollowed Sanya. So I guess she got on Kenya's nerves so bad that Kenya unfollowed her. So who knew that the beef was so deep between these two? But Sanya said, you know, she does not only pick on Kenya, she calls out other people on their situations as well. She told Marlo that she shouldn't have been recording a certain situation and Bravo paid back that footage. But she did indeed go in on Marlo. But I guess maybe she goes on in on Kenya more than she does on Marlo. Because it seems like she and Marlo have a better relationship than she and Kenya have. But she said that off the cameras, other ladies have a friendship with her, but Kenya only show up when the cameras show up. Dude, that's what we thought all the relationships were, a camera relationship. But apparently, Sanya is friends with some of these ladies outside of the camera as well. So isn't that nice that these ladies really, truly develop a relationship and friendship outside of the camera? But according to Sanya, Kenya only does it for the camera. And she said for her to be there at that charity event, raising money for these women that needed it, that was a good look for Kenya. But Kenya said she did not have to spend her time raising money to help Sanya's charity 
out that whether or not she did it for the camera or not she helped you out with your charity it's what kenya is saying all right so they were talking about kenya what is going on with kenya as well she also want to have a baby but she has decided not to use mark you know those frozen embryos she has decided that she's gonna adopt so this is a complete change from what she was saying on the show because rules work we're gonna like Mark is not going to agree to this, but she was saying that whether he agreed or not, she could still use that, those embryos, but kind of find out she has decided not to. I guess she don't want to deal with Mark, so even though she don't need his permission. What about all the baggage that it brings to have another child by Mark? So she has decided that she's going to go ahead and adopt Candy because she was upset that someone that used to work at Candy's restaurant was roommates with her nephew and unalive her nephew. But she was upset about that. I guess she was triggered when she heard about the sh pow pow that was at Candy's restaurant. So I guess those memories claim flooding back. And she remembered that Candy did not send any flowers after her nephew was unalive, even though he used to. He was not currently working at Candy's restaurant. But when they showed that footage, you know, Candy had showed empathy to Marlo at the time. They had hugged it out and she thought that everything was all good. And she said that even a few days after that, that Marlo had text her about getting to the bag about some venture but she didn't send her information on her nephew's funeral she was worried about getting to the bag so candy is not buying it that she is so upset about that situation candy feels that she is just dragging it trying to drag her name down trying to attach her name to a pow pow dragging the name of her restaurant down but she's not the only one because she by sheree before she knew it's probably trying to drag it down even some more so that alliance is very well it is so well that when Candy was having a back and forth with Marlo, Sanya kept stepping in. She would have thought that the situation was between Sanya and Candy instead of Marlo and Candy. Sanya was not backing down. So this is the reunion. Let the two talk it out. Why are you intervening as if Marlo does not know how to argue on her own behalf? Candy said, you know, she don't want to argue with you, you know, especially about Marlo. Because she said it happened too many times in the season. That she had a situation with Marlo and you were the one that she was arguing with. And I have to agree with Candy, girl, because you were just taking it too far. I was like let marlo say something so a person had wrote a note and said maybe candy want to sit down uh sit a season out because she doesn't open up enough and she's not there enough you know candy has been on tour but candy said that is not the case uh, because she has a separate show where she shows her restaurant and what be going on in the restaurant and she's very open about her situation but what about the situation that used to go on with her and mama joyce and todd so we have seen a lot of candy's family life now this season she might have been missing an action because she has been touring with her group but it still seems that she has an intriguing storyline because she gets brought up all the time. Sheree wanted to know what was the freakiest thing that Candy had as far as relationships. Candy did admit that she done been in a foursome before. We had already known that she had admitted to that she has been with another girl and that she has been part of a threesome before. But now we done found out that Candy done been part of a foursome. So as things like Candy likes to explore. Yes, she has her candy coated line where she sells pleasure toys to people. Next, Ralph comes out, and Drew immediately starts to look sad. Ralph had a sober look on his face. He was dressed to the nine. Seems like he was coming out to get some type of empathy or some type of sympathy. And Drew immediately handed him a peach. You no, know, since she feels like he wants to be one of them. Or else, why would he come to the reunion? Knowing that they are going through a divorce. Trying to get empathy and sympathy. Talking about he felt like they should talk it out there at the reunion. If you couldn't talk it out in counseling, what makes you think you got to talk it out at the reunion? And it seems like every time that... Andy would ask Ralph a question. He was like, Drew, you want to answer? Like he was trying to be the perfect gentleman or something. Who is he trying to fool? Well, he said he came there so he could be an accurate representation of a father figure for his children. I guess so they could get his point of view. This is what he is saying. Looks like, boy, he was trying to get empathy and sympathy. Trying out like he was a perfect gentleman. Man, we don't see them episodes. And he said he ain't never cheated. Now, Drew had said that he was getting awed up at her video by some woman. It seems like Ralph is always being in a Appropriate. But he said he never cheated. And she probably don't have no proof of him cheating. He be going out of town too much. He probably do his dirt out of town. He, he got sense enough not to do it right there in the city. But he said he ain't never cheated. And Drew said she ain't never cheated either. Then he talk about what about Ty? So according to Drew, Ralph and Mimi got together to put out them allegations on her like that. Well, according to Ralph, it was not Mimi. It was your assistant that told him that. Things like the assistants always be in the mix. They're supposed to be your assistant. But they're telling everybody else all your business. 
business. But Drew was not having it. She was like, you were the one that decided not to go back to counseling because Dr. Kim was holding your foot to the fight. And we could see that. That's why you skipped out on all of those counseling sessions. But now you're coming in acting like this sober man. Like everybody should have empathy and sympathy for you. I think that Candy is buying it. Now Drew says she has been there for you even though you put other women before her so this is nothing new she probably got all kind of proof that she's not presenting i'm sure it will come out soon if this voice continues to go through but y'all are in mediation so the divorce might not go through after all so probably you have to go through mediation before you can finalize the divorce is what i'm thinking Ralph made drew so bad she stormed off the stage when she tried to express her feelings she talked he talking about she acting what was you doing man you had that sober look on your face trying to act like you was a perfect husband that if i that was not acting i don't know what is but you said you love your wife and you want to work it out with your wife if you loved her so much when she stormed out the stage and she was in tears why didn't you go behind her to make sure that she was okay andy asked you you know did you think about going after her when she left the stage and you put that sad look on your face talking about you was you did think about it man please and kenya was like she'd been in this situation before all the other women they was looking you know it was not to come into drew's defense it was like ralph was winning the situation but then kenya came to say today and he was like uh when she was talking to her husband mark he didn't take up for her told her that she was strong and she could fend for herself he was not empathetic to her just like you was not being empathetic to your wife she said that you was taken up for courtney you was team courtney you know when drew had expressed to you about the women calling her to be word you know courtney calling her to be word and you was like so many women don't call you to be word you was not showing empathy to your to your wife it's like you was team everybody else but your wife and how about ralph talking about he was trying to build the relationship with his cousin can you say you don't even really know that woman ain't nobody buying that that's your cousin but she didn't say that she did say you don't really know that woman but we the viewing public we is not buying that that is your cousin and you're trying to build a cousin relationship with this woman so kenya did stand up for drew but ralph did have a clap back he was like how long were you married for now we do have questions about kenya's marriage but kenya did step up to the plate in this situation so even though drew and ralph have filed for divorce they are still living together at least they were at the time of this reunion so drew came back to the stage and andy asked her to sing the song so it apparently was a breakup song that she had written and she sang it while ralph, ralph was still there and then ralph left the stage but he was not offended by the song he said that drew is very talented what else was he going to say he's trying to act like he's the love and perfect husband but we the viewing public are not buying it and drew believed that you were the one who dropped those text messages off to sheree now even though sheree has been shaded all during the reunion andy had her do the closing words that she was the resident peacemaker some of us begged to differ but she said that she has not given up on the ladies she is hoping that they can all be a sisterhood and she will continue to push where they are all loving each other well it sounded good to end the reunion out but, but we know that she is part of an alliance and if she comes back for the next season she will probably continue that alliance so as tina turner says what's love got to do with it but anyway this is what went down on the reunion a real housewives of atlanta part two these are just my thoughts and opinion on what went down so everything is a cause allegedly and let me know what you thought of the reunion make sure you leave a comment below and as always busy bodies thank you so very much for stopping by my page make sure you like this video give this video a thumbs up you know what to do like comment and subscribe this is liz keeping up with the biz and i am out it's liz with the biz 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 Yo, this is Liz with the beers. This Liz with the beers telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real, cause it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the beers.